would you see from your group uh, to have the ability to outlast a, a team of that caliber? Yeah, I thought we were um, pretty resilient tonight. You know, I thought we took some punches uh, in the game flow, obviously opened up a nice lead in the fourth quarter, uh, and they kept coming. They're obviously a really talented team. Um, and I thought we were a little sloppy on both ends of the floor, trying to slam the door on that game, but then made big plays down the stretch and executed with poise. Coming out of the locker room at halftime, uh, you guys outscored them by 15. Is there anything tactically that you guys uh, did differently during that third or um, just executed at a higher level? I thought the execution was a little better. You know, we came out, we made a couple threes, that helped. Uh, but I thought we just, we tightened up the execution, got back in transition, set our defense a little bit more. I thought they were kind of punching gaps on us early in the game uh, in transition. And we got that cleaned and obviously had a good offensive quarter against a really good defense. Mark, obviously, um, Dub came in, scored a ton to, to start that fourth, but it felt like he was switching between Tatum and Brown defensively. I just wonder what you you saw from him tonight in, in that fourth quarter on that front? I, he was great. You know, we don't win the game without him, obviously, but it's same as I see every night. You know, he competes at a high level defensively. He can take on any matchup. He's growing in confidence on offense, still makes the right plays on offense. He's a really, really good player. Yeah, and you, you mentioned the poise, um, Chris, because I know growth isn't linear, and you always talk about the compete level, which they haven't lacked, but seeing, you know, Dub make shots like that late, Chet make shots like that late. Shea make the shots he hit. Just have you? Did you expect this level of poise it, this season, at least from, from those younger guys? Um, I mean, I thought we showed great poise at different times last year. Um, this team's had an uncommon uh, ability to just stay in the moment of the game. But uh, I thought you know we were good down the stretch in terms of getting shots after that one turnover we had. Um, but we also, I thought we were a little sloppy defensively. You know, it, when you have a lead like that, the way to really slam the door in the game is with stops and making them earn everything. I didn't think we did a good enough job there. So as much poise as we showed in some parts of the game, you know, we also have a long way to go. So. Coach, you talked about uh, earlier three-point perimeter defense being really important. You probably like getting out of there 18 of four, both teams shoot 40, but you make 45% and they make 37.5. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a shooting variance uh, in every game. I thought we generated pretty good shots tonight uh, and moved the ball and worked for good shots. Um, and that's some of the stuff I'm talking about in the fourth quarter where I thought we could have been tighter uh, is to protect against the shooting variance. Obviously, we made shots down the stretch. We just kept the scoreboard moving, uh, and that allowed us to win the game. But when you have a lead like that, you want to be able to rely on the things you have the most control over, um, like your defense, rebounding, execution. Mark, they kind of uh, they kind of loaded up the potato on Shea, gave him a little bit of a different look in that fourth quarter. He only gets a few shots, doesn't make a field goal, but has a couple of assists. Those other guys kind of step up. I just wonder how you thought he reacted to what they threw at him and what it said that without a field goal from him, your other guys were making those plays. Yeah, I mean, he's still um, – he managed the game really well, I thought. Um, and I thought he made some important passes. He obviously found Chet a couple times. Uh, had a really good screen for Dub uh, on that last uh, score that Dub had. So, you know, he's learned how to impact the game in other ways. And, um, you know, he's – that's why he's a really good player. It's not just uh, – he's not a hired gun scorer. There in that third quarter when you guys built a big lead, it seemed like those bench guys, Case and uh, Jay Wilson, those guys, it felt like you were kind of contesting every shot. I just wonder what you saw from their defensive effort and that stretch. energy. You know, and I thought I give Jay Will a lot of credit. He didn't play in the first half, um, and we didn't start. You know, we didn't put him in the game till late in the third. Um, we were switching them, and they were just catching a rhythm against the switching. And so I wanted to try um, changing that up and going coverage. And he's the best guy to do that with. Uh, and his readiness was impressive, and you know we kind of have a culture of that. The guys do a great job of staying ready, um, and every time a guy goes in and delivers like that in a tough circumstance, it just reinforces that mindset. So I give him a lot of credit. You talked about it uh, pregame, uh, 43s for them, 52 twos. How do you feel you guys did making them uncomfortable, making them take shots that they normally don't really want to take in the two-point uh, ring? Uh, good and bad. You know, I thought. Um, they definitely, I mean, they're a really good offense. You know, they're a really good offense. They not only have top end talent, but they have really good attacks. They're well coached. They move the ball out of there. They keep the ball ahead of you. They make you pay for mistakes. So um, it was a great barometer for us tonight. You know, there's a lot in that game that we can learn from, um, that we need to learn from in order to continue to improve uh, against, obviously, a really quality opponent. And then 
more than the numbers being good, Josh seems to be more decisive, uh, not thinking as much. Uh, have you seen anything different from him uh, the last few weeks or so? Yeah, I mean, I think as we've talked about, um, you know, he was he's getting schemed a different way than he's ever been schemed before. That takes time, you know, to learn. Um, he made shots tonight, but I think, you know, what he's done, what he's really done that's made him confident and decisive is he's developed – uh, a more predictable style of play and and around controllable things, movement, cutting. We've added a couple of things for him where he can facilitate and then screen. Uh, he did that well tonight. And so when you've got kind of that sourcing on offense, then it doesn't just come down to making and missing shots. And I also think he's really competed defensively. Mark, with, with Chris Stapps, you mentioned some of the, the lapses. I'm curious, throughout the stretch of the game, it felt like he was reacting to the doubles well, reading them well. Just how much of that did you expect and how much of it? decision making were you prepared for I mean he's really good you know that's that's why they're tough because you know if you don't switch him then he's teeing up really high percentage shots the other guys have gravity and so he forces you you almost have to switch him to take the, sh the jump shooting away and then when you switch him you know he's a great iso player he's tall he can play over switches so you know there's a reason why they're hard to beat you guys have put together quite an impressive list of high high quality wins I mean just since Christmas first place teams in both conferences, defending champs. What have you learned or discovered about your team during this run? Um, well, I mean, I, I think they're ambitious, um, but I also think they put the work in behind that. And uh, there's so many examples of us improving, you know, not only this season, but in previous seasons over time. And they have an uncommon ability uh, to block out the noise and to just stay focused on what we need to get better at. Uh, and they tend to respond really well to adversity. You know, they, they turn the page and get to the next one. Uh, and they respond very well to, to some of these little bumps we're getting, you know, where, you know, we have a win like this. But they'll look at these these plays and they'll look at the game in a, in a sober manner that will allow us to keep getting better. And as I've said, you know, we've had some early – uh, success, but if we want to continue to have success, we have to keep getting better. And I think we have a group that understands that. Where are those growth opportunities? I mean, like I said, the execution on both ends of the floor down the stretch, um, you know, our ability, you know, to, to understand how to play with a lead, you know, you're up 18, there's a way to win that game in a methodical way that I thought got away from us a little bit tonight. And then individual guys, I mean, you can name a guy on the team and there's plenty of stuff that they need to improve at. And, um, not only improving, but also sustaining the things that we're doing at a high level. It's really hard to, to play as well as we're playing and to beat a team like Boston. So we also don't want to take for granted the stuff that we're doing well. Anybody else? All right, see you guys.